you never heard of pesto, Gennaro? No. Pesto. Pesto. <laughs> Known all over the world that they come from Genoa, from Liguria. So you will do the pasta today, yes? Yeah, I'm, I'm really the pasta. And do you know which pasta to do? Yes, sir. The mm. recipe is called Mandilli de Sia, silk okay. handkerchiefs. Oh, I love those with Flavored the pesto. with pesto. Mm. The best thing to do it is to do it with the mortal and pestle because we want the pesto to be a cream. Thank you, thank you. So what would be life without Gennaro? So now we take the garlic, which Gennaro is a very strong man. He does it with the fist, but I do it with this. Gennaro, why you don't start to do the... the I'm the, waiting the for your recipe, the one you wanted. Yeah, just put 250 grams of flour. Yeah, this is double zero flour. Double zero, fine flour, yes? Yeah? This is one egg and three yolks of egg. Just the yolk. And once it becomes too hard. Okay. Three, three yolks. Three yolks, okay. And coarse salt for grinding the entire thing. Because with the coarseness, you will see that the cream will come. Oh, that, yes. Look at the color That's of That's fantastic. Yolk. Now the garlic gendarum, I put it squashed into the water. And now the garlic and the basil soon become a cream. And now we add also pine kernels, which they add the sort of je ne sais quoi. <laughs> what language are you speaking? <laughs> That's French. You know. It's all right. I remember that. <laughs> of uh, flavor, of sort of the raisin flavor of the pines. That's a very, very good. I give it a crunchiness, yes? No, because it's all pounded. Okay. No crunchy. And you mustn't forget that all those things, they come because the hills of Liguria, they're almost covered with all those ingredients that we put in the personal mortal. Pine kernels, the basil is cultivated everywhere. Gennaro, I can see you are so fascinated by what I'm telling you yeah. that you stop working there. You're right. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. 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 I'm and the pesto became like this, the source of Genoa. Very, very of clever. Liguria. That's wonderful. And now we put the parmesan cheese, which in some cases they put even pecorino. Pecorino is nice. Pecorino. I like the pecorino cheese. A little bit of olive oil. Oh, that's wonderful. And the perfume that comes from this. Yes, look at this. Should be slightly coarse. Perfection. Okay. What is about your pasta? Oh, well, as you can see, Antonio, I almost finished rolling the pasta out. The lovely color of the pasta is incredible. Look, you can see how old it. Yes, at home you could do it also simply using a machine, but uh, this is the best way. And look at the way it's rolling out yeah, nicely. The, yeah, to, yes, to do it very thin, but very poetically, mandili de sea, so silk handkerchief. Very dialect. Because the handkerchief, as the, the translation is mandili, is almost a paper thin, and the handkerchiefs, they were in function of saying goodbye to the mariners, that they were going or coming back. Elia. Thin, thin, thin. <laughs> oh no, I'm doing that thin, thin, thin. Now, come on, I'm only starting to worry me. Now, to see a thin is, yes. you put them on, on the edge. Yes. Okay, and then you blow. Wonderful, so the weight, yes. So, when they slide. Can I have it now? That, give it me back. Look, Fantastic. don't you think it's thin enough? Now I show you what the handkerchiefs are because instead to cut them, I made a discovery, Gennaro, that if you do it like this, look, like this, yeah. you tear it apart. Do you see this, this um, serrated edge here? In doing like this, look, it builds a little bit of serrating there, which absorbs a little bit more um, sauce. Sauce? So, can I try yes, it? Yes, yeah. Not too, too small, make it bigger. If the handkerchiefs, then they'll be bigger. And then it's lovely to let them dry a little bit like this. Fantastic. Let's see the water. Yes. Now, give me the pasta. 
Right. And it cooks in a minute. No more than that. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Can you put the pesto in the pan now, please? Oh, yes. Let me just put it. Lovely. With a pan. This a suggestion to everybody using either self made pesto or the other one bought in uh, uh, shops to add a little bit of water to make it moist for the pasta because it absorbs the pasta absorbs a little bit more. I think it's done. Yes, yeah, done. It's done. Yeah. Mm, the the smell is incredible. Oh. Oops. Fantastic. It's almost religious at the moment. I know. So calm. Yeah, I'll give it a little bit more. Thank you. Just a little, little sauce on top, Antonio. Yeah. Yeah, just a little touch it. 